course. Um, I was really pleased with the, um, the effort on the defensive end. I thought our ball screen coverage was really good against these guys. Uh, we talked coming into the game about keeping them out of transition, talked about being really good with ball screens, post defense, and getting out to three-point shooters. And uh, probably the best statistic was their three-point shooting tonight for us in terms of how we um, how we really took away uh, a lot of a lot of shots that they made. Um, offensively, thought we had a really good rhythm at times. Thought we were a little bit choppy at times. They mixed up the defense a little bit in the second half, which got us uh, a little bit on our heels. But really proud of, of the overall effort and um, happy to get the win tonight. You've become a master at uh, having to juggle a, a short roster over the last uh, several weeks. Um, how tough does it get? It, it, do, do you get into a rhythm with it? I mean, that you've since you've had to do this for a few games now, or is, is it tough to make sure someone doesn't get in foul trouble or too tired or any of that? Yeah, uh, I don't know that I've become a master in it. I, I know that I, we've had to do it a little bit more than I would like, but um, it, it it certainly gets gets tougher to do when foul trouble happens because then it forces guys to be out there longer than we want. Uh, one of the big things we talked about at halftime was just making sure we tried to keep guys fresh in the second half because we knew it was probably only going to be, you know, the seven or eight guys out there. Um, so I, I thought that these guys, and I say these guys, everybody did a great job of playing really hard when they were out there. I had a couple guys say, Coach, can I get a quick breather, um, which means they're playing at the, at the right level. And, you know, we just I thought the assistant coach did a great job of, of, of helping me manage that and, and knowing when to – when they try to get guys out, and um, you know, for the most part, we avoided foul trouble tonight, which was huge. If you could talk about these two on your sides, starting with with Chase, just a pretty remarkable line, a double double, and and after maybe struggling a little bit from the line early on, knocked down his last six. Yeah, I I, I think Chase uh, played one of his better games, uh, certainly in a while, and. Um, He's got so many different ways he can impact the game and, and, and help us win. He's, he's terrific at getting to the paint. He's one of the best players in the country at getting to the foul line, and he was doing that again tonight. Um, he had 12 rebounds tonight, four on the offensive end. Just, so just, just a ton of things that, that, that really, helped us, uh, really helped us win the game. And um, he had one foul that I wasn't a big fan of, but we'll, we'll talk about that after this. <laughs> Charlie with his knife. Yeah, I, I think obviously what's going to stand out uh, in the box score is the 18 points on, I think, 10 shots and um, made a couple of threes. But I was most proud of his defensive effort. Um, we had a fairly, uh, I don't know what the word is I should use for our film session, but honest <laughs> film session, I sure. guess we'll say. And, and really challenged Charlie because I think that um, we, we, we need him to be better defensively. And I think he was much better tonight. Um, I know there's going to be things that we're going to see that we can say, hey, we got to continue to improve on this. But I thought his effort on the defensive end and his, his commitment to that, his commitment to that in practice um, was really important for us and, and his best defensive game on a night where he also had 18. I know you guys um, rely a lot on, on the three. Uh, tonight you were actually not that great from the three, but 21 of 30 from two. Uh, and, and again, you did a really good job of getting to the paint. How, how instrumental was that in, in pulling this off? Actually, all three of you can address that, if you would. Yeah, I mean, uh, we always talk about taking what the defense gives us. Um, so the twos were there, guards were getting in the paint, um, and that really helped out our offense a lot. Gave us kickout threes, even though we didn't shoot it like we wanted to. Um, but having the guards live in the paint and just create shots for other guys was huge for us tonight, for sure. Yeah, I mean, just to build up with Chuck said, I agree. Um, just take what the defense gives you, right? They were playing a lot of, um, a lot of hedge. They were hedging ball screens, so we were able to get a lot of slips, and that was an easy way to get in the paint. Um, and then also, we were able to confuse them a lot off of um, just ghosting out of screens. So I was able to get in the paint, too, and just create out of there. So we were able to get some good looks on playing inside out and also just playing inside and crashing the glass and finishing when we got in the paint. And also for both of you players, um, it's been a kind of a tough couple of months with the injuries and all that. Uh, how 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 of a big of a boost is this for you guys to to start conference playoff with a win like this? Um, it's huge. So coach actually came in the locker room, um, you know, and 
I'm not going to say he didn't say the games before didn't matter, but the conference games are are more meaningful than, than non-conference games. So we have a, we had a chance to start fresh against Elon, um, and we were looking at it one game at a time. So it was really huge to get this one tonight. Um, really big for morale, and we're going to keep it rolling on Saturday. And just one more thing for me, anyway. Um, 37-30 on the boards. You guys plus seven, and outscoring 15-7 in second chance. Uh, things like that obviously matter in a game like this. How, how important is that for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, we talked all week about preparation and how that will, if we prepare the right way, we'll likely see the results we want to get. Um, so that just came with executing our offense when Chase and Tay and uh, Caleb, they were all crashing the glass. Um, that was just part of our preparation, part of our, what we needed to execute. Um, so yeah, that was big for us, gave us good energy.